Hi, it's Gordon at Averlights, and I'm going to take you through using some of the default macros that are saved for you inside Titan. Softkey F opens workspace windows, and there is a workspace window called Show Library. You can see it there on Softkey A. If I go to the macros tab down the left hand side, you can see that there's a large number of unassigned macros. Any of these that you want to use you can copy quickly out of the show library and put onto any workspace window a designated macros workspace window or any of your workspace macro executor buttons on your console if i put this window over to the left hand side what i'm going to do is open my macros workspace window you can see here i've got a whole bunch of handles with no macros on whatsoever Say I want to use these chase direction macros. I can tell the console I want to copy. I can select these macros and I can tap an available space in this macros workspace window. Now I've got these macros on the surface of my console that I can use anytime I want. There's plenty of macros in here. I'm not gonna go through all of them inside this video, but take some time to have a look. Palette fade times are great for live busking shows. I might want to copy these from the show library onto the surface of my console, then copy this one. Now, anytime I want to use these, I can do it nice and easily. All you have to do, press that macro as and when you want. These can be put into queues within queue lists. These can be put into tracks within set lists as well. It's the same process for all of those. Now, anytime I want to change my chase directions, all I have to do is press that one button and it's gonna do it for me. Anytime I wanna use my palette fade times, rather than going through the process of typing in a new fade time, every time I press a palette, I can just tap this. And now all of my palette fades will take 10 seconds. Open workspace window, go into that show library and you can see that I've got everything from opening playback windows, to releasing specific banks of faders, to scrolling windows up or down, selecting different orders with fixtures. There's plenty to choose from. Next time you're programming, give it a look, see how you get on. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.